Hey guys, welcome back. So we're just starting off with some skincare. I'm going in with the La Mer Repairing Oil and I'm just pressing that into my skin. Please ignore my fake tan hands. They're really bad in this video. And then I'm following up with some moisturizer. This is the Tarte Brighter Days and I'm obsessed with it. It's really illuminating and it just makes you look super awake. And then I'm laughing at like some stupid little song Hamish was singing to me while I was filming. Then I'm going in with the La Mer Fluid Foundation and I'm just applying that all over my face. I think this is in the color Linen. I actually filmed this tutorial about a week after I did my first impression on this foundation. So I'll link that down below. But this is when I first got like my lip fillers, my cheek fillers and my chin fillers. So my face looks a little bit funny. It's just because it was super swollen. As you guys would see in like my most recent videos, it has calmed down a lot. Um, so yeah, if you guys are like thinking, hey, she looks a little weird. That's why I was just really swollen. Then going in and contouring my face with the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. Obsessed with this, like my new favorite contour stick of all time. You do need quite a little product because it blends out so naturally, but it's super nice. I love the color. It's not too cool toned. It's not too warm. It's like that perfect in-between shade. And I'm just like going to town. You guys are probably going to get so angry because I'm wearing a cap in this. I know people get the shits when people wear caps when they film. And I don't know why. You guys should be happy. It stopped me from doing a bronzer helmet. So let's just, let's just be happy for that. Then going in and highlighting my under eyes. I'm only using a little bit of concealer today. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shades Light Medium and then Light Neutral. I use these because I don't have my exact shade, so I just mix them and get the shade that I want. And as you guys can see, the concealers just make your eyes look really brightened and awake and just kind of lifted. And I'm just obsessed with Shape Tape right now. I really should pick up a shade that's my actual color, but you know, YOLO. Then going in and setting my concealer straight away so it doesn't crease, I'm using the Secret Brightening Powder from Laura Mercier on my Sigma F35 brush. And I'm basically just kind of patting that under the eyes and then I just dust away any excess product that's there. And then going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and setting the rest of my face with my F25 brush from Sigma. You guys can use Casey Rayton to get 10% off any brushes you want to pick up. And then going in and doing my brows, I just thought I would include a quick little couple clips of this because I don't really do my brows on camera that often. But lately I've just been using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Blonde. Sometimes I use taupe but mostly blonde, it's like a bit of a better match for my hair I think. And I'm using the E68 brush from Sigma to do my brows. I don't recommend this one, it's a little bit large um, but my E75 was a little bit dirty so I couldn't use that and then we're taking the light orange shade from the Morphe 35O palette on my Sigma E40 brush and we're just going to start working that into the crease as our transition shade and then we're going in with just that same color on the E32 brush and we're just going to start doing the same thing on the lower lash line so we're just building up the foundations for the next shades that we go in with <laughs> Then going in with the light creamy brown shade next to the orange that we just used, we're just going in with the E40 again, blending into the crease and then back in with the E32 and blending that on the lower lash line. So essentially the same thing and you guys will notice throughout this tutorial we're using the same two brushes for all the shades that we're using. And then going in with the darker warm brown shade that is again next to those same two colors, we're just going to start packing this shade onto the outer and inner corners of the eye using that same E32 brush. Because we're going in with the darker colors each time, we can use those same brushes and it's not going to make the look get muddy. And then we're using the E45 just to blend out those colors that we just placed down.
Then going in with the warm brown shade from the middle of the palette, again on that E32 brush, we're placing it on the outer and inner corners of the eye. And we're also going to start working that onto the lower lash line. So again, just doing like the same sort of halo effect on the outer and inner corner. And then going back in with the E45 brush to blend this out. And I do go back in a few times to build up the depth of color. Then taking the dark chocolatey brown shade from the lower line of the palette, again with that E32 brush, just packing it onto the outer and inner corners of the eye. And same with the lower lash line. So everything we do to the top eyelid, we're doing to the bottom lash line as well. And then we are just going back in with the E45 to blend everything out. And I do go back in a few times just to build up the depth of color. So just take a look at the, how your eye is looking how the eyeshadows are going and if you need a little bit more just keep going back in as many times as you think you need to we're then going in with this really light pink champagne foiled shade from the palette this is such a beautiful color and you guys can see it's so pigmented so we're just placing that onto the center of the eyelid where we didn't place any of the colors before and we're just using that same E32 brush. I have like 10 of these, so this is a different one. And then we're taking the shimmery copper red shade from the palette and we're just placing that on the outer corners of where we just placed that shimmery shade in the center. So you guys can see we're just creating an ombre sort of effect. And then again, I'm just going back in with the um, first shimmery pink shade, placing that on the inner corner and then following up with a very thin line of liquid liner, just so when we go in with our false lashes, everything blends seamlessly. I used the Huda Beauty lashes in the style Carmen, I believe, but I'll leave it listed down below if there's something else because I always get confused with my lashes. Then we're moving on to the face. We're just finishing off with a little bit of extra bronzer because you guys know me, I can never be stopped. And we're just using the Hula Benefit bronzer and yeah basically just adding a little bit more to my cheekbones and then this is a little trick that I like to do if I feel like my face has gotten a little bit too dark or I just feel like my fake tan isn't as dark on my neck I just go down my neck with a bit of bronzer and it makes everything blend in and just gives you peace of mind that you don't have a floating head and then we're going in with the dandelion highlight from Benefit and I'm using my F03 brush from Sigma and I'm just highlighting my face it's a very subtle highlight it's not like you can build it up definitely, but it's more subdued. And then we're going in with one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, colors and formulas of all time. This is the Serenity Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. You guys would know Manny MUA collaborated with them to create this color and I just think it is so beautiful. You guys can use the code KC to get 30% off Gerard Cosmetics. So definitely use that if you're thinking of picking anything up. And then I'm following up with my favorite setting spray, which is the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day setting spray. And I'm just using that to set my face. And that completes this look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wasn't going to upload it, which is why this is like something I filmed like a month ago and I'm only just putting it up now. But I was looking at the footage and I was like, you know what? I kind of like it. I'm going to put it up. So really hope you guys like it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. I have a ton of chatty videos coming for you guys. So stay tuned.